<laughs> Welcome, y'all. What's up, Roscoe? How we feeling? We good? Are we ready to get this shindig started? I haven't said that in a long time. You haven't. Let's yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let's I, get it. I'm let's feeling uh, older today, so I'm gonna say it. Um, are we ready for the shindig? I think so, Diva. Yeah. Why don't you ladies have a seat? Have a Thank seat. You we so have much. two weeks left. We before we find our next crown queen of Drag Race. Has, has it felt like a long time? No, honestly, it, this no, one I feel no. like zipped by. This I, one zipped by. Yeah, I felt like. The, what do you guys think? It kind of zipped by. Yeah. Hi, YouTube. Just want to send shout out to Hello YouTube. Hello to all Hi. of our Thank VIPs. Thank you so much for watching. Um, okay, let's bring Candy out. Yes, because I'm so let's excited. Let's bring her out. Give it up for Candy Muse. <laughs> Hello. Hey. <laughs> yeah. I. My God, <laughs> I live. Hi, everyone. Hey, Diva, welcome back. Yes, yes. I live. I, oh. it, it looks like I just whooped your ass with a chuleta right now. Right. Ooh, that's a pork chop for yes. those of you that don't know. <laughs> that was Hi, great. Chicago. Yes. Girl, it's bumping up in here, y'all. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> How good do I look? I mean, Listen, it's give me. It's so funny. It was the first thing I was gonna say, and she literally beat me to it. Totally. Can, can we give you the compliment, girl? Do it. You look absolutely stunning. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I actually have lost fifty pounds since the last time I was here. Yes. So, some may call it Ozempic. Some may call it diabetes. I call it both. <laughs> Okay, Candy, now since the last time you're here, let's keep it cute. Have you been watching the season? Um, I'm going to keep it real. I stopped watching after my daughter got eliminated. They played in my face. Um, but no, I would say um, in the last two, three years, I have 14 and 15, I didn't really watch. But something about the cast of 16, I found so endearing. And it's, it was like refreshing, no? I thought this cast... They played well together. They bantered uh, well together. And somehow they meshed well. There are certain casts, like season 13, that sometimes not everyone, you know, meshes well together. But this cast, they're all fun. They're fun girls. And every single week, someone's bringing it. So, yeah. yeah. I, feel, I felt like they brought back some excitement that might have been lost throughout some seasons. Yeah? Correct. Yeah. Um, but uh, with that said, um, thank you to YouTube for watching and continue to watch. We're about to get this started. Are you ready? I'm so excited about this episode. Yes, I'm so excited. Are you ready? I saw the little preview of the stage, so I'm just excited for it to just yes. look different. And just, yes. yeah, I'm so excited to watch these guys just do it. Oh I my can't. God, is, is someone going to win tonight? Like the finale? No. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely no. not. But someone will win. Um, $50,000. Yeah, $50,000 and a fierce lip sync. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah. before we even watch the lip syncs, who do y'all want to win the lip sync? Lala Lu what is it called? Lala Perusa. Lala Perusa. Who? who? Guys. It's kind of like everyone whose name Word. started with an M. You, they they were I, I heard a happy. lot of candy muses. I'm not on the show, <laughs> y'all. All right, let's go to the show. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> this looks good. I am so so excited for this. Are you, are you excited for this, Candy? Oh, my God. Oh, can I get this mic a little up, please? <laughs> I can't hear myself. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. Ah! No, I'm so excited. I think any episode that involves a lip sync Lala Perusa, the, like the last one on Canada's Drag Race, fuck it, even the one on All Stars 4, yeah. no, uh, five, the, with Valentina and Pheromone and four. 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 four, everything. So I'm excited. The, the girls, the eliminated girls come back with nothing to lose and everything to prove. So, you know, you go on that stage and anytime you're up there lip syncing, it's like, all right, you're in front of RuPaul, you're in front of the cameras, you're in front of the PAs and the girls. So let me put on a fucking show. So, and we're all watching tonight, right? So we are expecting a show. I love it. Now, we're all watching, including the top three. First off, I would have been pissed you make me get up and drag. <laughs> to sit and, there. And, to sit there and watch this sh Oh, I would have been so upset. Anyway. Um, they look good, though. They, they look gorgeous. They I look so good. They Believe. look gorgeous. I would have been in a jogging suit. Um, I would, well, yes. <laughs> I would have thrown on a romper, chilled. 
um, chapstick and a lash. But <laughs> let me ask you this. What do you think about our top three? First of all, I cannot believe that the top three have that many clothes left at the end of the competition. <laughs> because when you get to that point of the competition, let me tell you, on All Stars, I had nothing left. On 13, girl, I had a, a bikini. That's all I had left. Um, but nonetheless, I think that the top three is a very well-rounded, and I think one of the strongest, when it comes to track record, one of the strongest top three that we've had in a very long time. Because I think everyone up there has three to four wins. You know, on some seasons, you have one girl that has four win and one girl that has one win, my season. But, you know, it, it, it comes down to like, okay, now everyone's on an even playing field, we all have wins, and it really comes down to what they do at the grand finale. I think, I think it's sickening. I'm team everyone. I've met the girls. I'm friends with a lot of the girls. I think they're all incredible. Um, they really brought the fashion. You know, Plain brought the drama. Safira just brought the excellence that comes out of, you know, Philadelphia drag. I think they're all, they're all great. They're all great. Um, and I think any one of them honestly can take the crown and represent the show fabulously. And I want to ask all three of you to give me an answer for this. If you had to pick one out of the three to win, who would you pick? Up, up to now, based on, you know, the, the season. I would still give it to Nymphia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Batty? I'm still with Safira. <laughs> so y'all hate Nymphia. Oh. <laughs> so, no, no kidding. And you know what? I'm going to represent for the villains, and I'm going to go with Plain Jane. <laughs> We were gonna ask you this. How do you feel about Plain Jane? But now we know. <laughs> well, you know what? She was actually at my house last night. Um, so she no, is a no, villain. we were having afters, y'all. I, I don't do sister. Thank you very much. Well, well. Um, <laughs> but you know, uh, and I was actually with Nymphie last night too. I don't know. They're all incredible. It's it's gonna be a tough one, and I would hate to be in the judges' position because, you know, it's hard picking a winner. I mean, who do you, we think took it? Oh, Megami. Megami. Uh, okay. Megami. <laughs> the signs. Ah, ah. Ah. Megami, 100%. Okay. Yeah. Q gag. When Megami said Janet Jackson, Q no. fa face crack. <laughs> well, what about the first lip sync? Yeah, let's we talk had, about the first uh, one. A mandatory Dawn meeting. Lip sync. Dawn. It started off a little rough. I ain't going to lie. Yeah. I was like, oof. Amanda turned it out. She was given sex, kitten, she puss. Did. Also, I appreciate that it was almost the entire song. Yes. I think a lip sync for your life should be, well, actually no. You know what? Because I have some lip syncs that were cut up and edited. To, anyways. Um, but yes, a lip sync for your life should be a full, almost, you know, in Canada, they do a full, like, two I was going to ask, do y'all not perform the full song? I know we see it edited. We do, do like, no, you do a, a whole, like, three minutes. Oh, you do? Girl, yes. Um, yeah. Unless it's a long song and then they edit it down, but like otherwise you do the full song. Yeah, and then it's edited for television because okay. it, it won't be the whole yeah. song. Yeah, well, it's edited episode. for whoever they want to stay. No, uh, <laughs> listen. But I, ha I yeah. listen. I, I have one question. I can I'm only saying that because she said it because I did it because <laughs> it happened to me. <laughs> Production's favorite, honey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Uh, speaking of songs and stuff, we, we have to talk about these lip syncs, but speaking of Let's songs... I, I know exactly where you're going with this. I did see a song up there. It said Milkshake. I feel like you you have a personal relationship with that song, I think. Do, is, there, is there a story behind that song? Um. <laughs> <sighs> what do you mean? I, I could have sworn that song came up at some point in All Stars 8, maybe. I don't know. My, my memory's kind of fuzzy. Maybe you could refresh my memory. Well, I guess it's, everyone knows, huh? It's no secret that, you know, a Milkshake was the, the final lip sync. Well, no, I'm sorry. Do You Wanna Funk was the final lip sync song on All Stars 8. Right. And then the morning of, they want to switch up real quick. And we're like, oh, we're going to do Milkshake. And I throw a tantrum. I said, hold on. Y'all think y'all slick? Y'all gonna give milkshake to the bitch with the titty bibs? Uh, 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 it ain't gonna happen like that. I, I walked out, I said, call my mother, call, call, call someone. I'm, I'm, I said, I'm walking out of the finale. If Y'all not gonna have a finale, how about that? Actually, I said, get Jessica back in, I'm done. 
<laughs> she kept asking for her phone. Give me my phone. <laughs> Jimbo. My favorite part was Jimbo was like, what are you talking about? What's going on? What's going on? Oh, I'm like, you know what the f*** is going on, stupid. <laughs> How is your relationship with Jimbo? No, you know, I, I love Jimbo. We actually, uh, me, Heidi, Jimbo, and Jessica just did um, a cruise in the Caribbean for a week. And that was, it was so fun. I, I, I do love Jimbo. Um, she doesn't answer her text messages, but I love her nonetheless. No, she's on a tour. She's on like a... a, a Circus. Uh, yeah, a, a solo tour. Oh, yeah. A it, it, clown. Like, that's what it is. It's like... Uh, no, it's called Jimbo, the drag Jim, circus. The drag circus. Yeah, oh, okay. something like that. Yeah, yeah. It, it yeah. was just how she said circus. Because <laughs> just took me out. It's the nation. one word that just pops. <laughs> yo, let me tell you something. If I can go back in time now, yo, I swear to God, I wake up every morning and I'm like, I should have just picked Jimbo's lipstick. But you know... Had Nisha been there, I would have done it. Because then she would have been like, just do it, just do it. <laughs> but Jessica, here's full tea. And Jessica, protected this. Jessica literally told me, she's like, girl, do not pick Jimbo's lipstick. She was like, you know what you got to do. And I was like, girl. Let me just pick it. Is it? So you would say it's the, we're, we're about to go back. But really quick, would you say it's the one regret you have from All Stars Day? Oh, hell yeah. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Back to the show. Okay, if Mirage was smart, who should she choose? Hershey. Hershey? Okay. Okay. Right? I don't know. Mm? Uh, if I were Mirage, I would, who's left? Oh, girl, I'm going to choose Plasma. Damn. <laughs> Same. Oh, yeah. Pla plasma looks crazy in that lip sync she did last time. <laughs> it's not shade. Not actually, it's all shade. You look crazy. <laughs> Girl, I will choose plasma. Also, shout out to my drag niece, Morphine. Killed Kill the lip sync. Oh my god, that was so good. Mirage got her redemption. Yeah, that was a pretty solid one, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, Mirage oh. ate her up. It's yeah. good. It was cute. It was cute. I liked it. It was cute. I liked the beat. I thought it was cute. <laughs> okay. It was cute. It wasn't. I don't think it's my favorite lipstick of the night. It just did what it needed. But it was. She she did the job. Okay. She knew the words. She hit the beats, the splits, the back bends. I mean, <laughs> everything Mirage knows how to do, she did. Okay. Which do you think that it was? Uh, she showed all her cards. Well, it's so funny. I was thinking that literally while I was watching the lip sync. I said, "You went in, did all your moves. What do you have for the next one?" We're gonna see. We didn't see the heel clack there, but you're right. We saw. Like, most we already of it. started once, well, though. We saw Amanda do it, so. Ah, uh, no. Ooh, I mean, no, Amanda. Did. I'm sure. Well, here's the thing now. All the girls that are left are really good at lip syncing, so, like, the next rounds are gonna be over. And also, her, she looked amazing as well, too. Like, she looked so beautiful. Let's talk about uh, Megami really quick and how she got chosen because they're like, oh, it's Megami. And then she slayed it, yeah? She did. I think they forget that the girl that they're choosing gets to choose the song. Like, you, that's part of the game, girl. Very Malaysia Marsha yes. as well. Yeah. Uh, oh, do they have that on their season? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So oh. one girl, you get to pick your opponent, and she tried doing it thinking she was going to beat Marsha. Marsha picked the song, and it was over. Well, I guess it is hard because you have to think about, okay, can I beat the girl, one, but also, like, what song is she going to choose? And also, well, they have nine songs up there. How many of the nine songs did you actually learn before going on the stage? You know what I mean? You never know. First of all, I want to start off by saying... <laughs> what, 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 what's that girl's name? Plasma. Plasma. Dawn. Plasma. Plasma. Plasma looks crazy. <laughs> oh, I am disgusted. <laughs> I have never in my life seen such... Profanity on a stage. That's <laughs> so stupid. The 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 wig into the even uglier wig. The mannerisms. The steroids. I think we should just end the show. I think we should all go home now. We need to reevaluate what we all just watched. She needs to be banned from Drag Race for doing. I don't want to see her in the All-Stars. I dig. <laughs> my hey, hey, Ryan, watch her win. <laughs> my, my favorite part is the song is at a five, right? And she was at a 100. <laughs> Going too hard. 
too hard. It's like, she what was, beat was, do you hear, girl? Girl, she was living her life. I live. Girl, plow, girl, give so, it. It was fun. Um, <laughs> it's fun to watch. Um, I was going to say, well, because of that, we didn't see much of Tsunami. I'm sorry, Candy, don't hit me. But um. Not too much. <laughs> not too much. You know, here's the thing. The music, we, keep it, we don't do stunts. We keep it pretty. Let the other girls fall on the floor. Girl, let me tell you something. I was just at a show with Lux the other day. We did a show together, and she fractured her foot. See? I don't do that. This, you, you can't you even see this, not. So Sudani was up there looking pretty, and I'm gonna stand by it. And you know what, you never know, she might win. Right. You don't even believe that, you tried it. <laughs> she tried it. She you tried know. it. But, but no joke, uh, talking about like, the girls that do the stunts, it really is a risk, because you have to remember, we don't get PTO, boo. If we f a foot or a leg and we're out of work, we're out of work, period. So Trust me, baby. Yeah, yeah, I fatty, broke my yeah, leg. I know. Absolutely. Yeah. So kudos to all of those girls that do all the stunts and the most because they really take risks doing and, that And shit. half the time, they're doing the stunts on concrete floors. Oh so. God, yeah. Yeah. Or, uh, or off of bar tops, putting their life in danger oh, girl, let me say something. for a dollar. There's no dollar in life where I'm ever going to throw myself out of a bar. There was one time I tried to do a split many, many years ago. I pulled, what do you call that little thing that's here? A quad. I pulled the quad. Oh, a hamstring. <laughs> Where's the hamstring? Do you know where that's Girl, at? Girl, somewhere here. It's in the back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's here. Girl, we, never, we never again. <laughs> do we have any doctors in the house? Girl. Did it hurt in the back or the front? Girl, in the back. In the back. Uh, and, then you're, and then you're like limping for a, a month and a half. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Even I worked the world. Girl, I was doing a ballet, dropped to, dropped to my knees, injured both of my knees. Could not walk the next day. Very pain. surprised about that. Very surprised. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> and all I did, all I, girl, I was literally, so well, that's right. It was fractured. before the weight loss. And that's the day I was doing a ballet and fractured my knees, I said, I need to lose weight. Well, anyways. Candy, you're too pretty to be on your knees. Oh, girl, never that. You know I love being on my knees. Hey, come on. The show's back, See though. The show's I mean? back. Back to the show. Let's talk about what the think? Megami lip sync that we just saw. I she love was eating. that she's like, the girls are sleeping on her, and she's like, Giving it to yeah. all of them. Like, they keep choosing her because the lack of lip sync she's going to give, and look what she's giving. And they're only, they're only, they're basing that off of one lip sync that she lost. Right. It's like, baby, you can't underestimate anyone in the competition, especially at this point. I mean, obviously it's strategy, so like, kudos to the girls for thinking like, oh, I'm going to beat her, but <laughs> Megami's eating the girls up, so she might be going home with $50,000 tonight, huh? Right. <laughs> one thing that I noticed with the live audience that... Um, New York Queens, because it's very intimate and it's very comedic, you would say, you would agree, you know, being from Probably. New York. Um, maybe not your aesthetic, but um, having her that close to the audience and having that reaction, I felt like that kind of amped it up as well with her to be able to, you know, because she was eating her finger and first it was like, wait, what is she doing? But then... Okay, I have this thing in life where I personally do not like to see people spit on things, I get grossed Except, out. Really? I didn't say I don't spit on things now. <laughs> but I cannot dark. watch people like spit and, oh, girl, no, keep that shit away from me. However, it must be nice to lip sync in front of an audience because on 13, we lip synced in front of RuPaul and you can feel the dead air, girl. <laughs> you know? Um, but in front of the audience, it must be amazing. Now, between Morphine and who do we just have her go against? Forgive me. Mirage. Thank you. Who do we think is going to take it? It what? seemed pretty divided in the work. Uh, who do y'all think is going to take it? Who do you it? think? Uh, morphine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, so morphine, one thing they Mirage. didn't show was um, Mirage saying, well, I'm going to amp it up. And then, and then she, she never did. And then she didn't. So, the, the so the edit there, I was like, eh, did they edit it for Morphine? Um, 
I like the beat. I thought it was cute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, the song. T- okay, I have a hard time watching certain lip syncs on Drag Race when the song is just like yeah. mid tempo. Girl, either give me a ballad or give me a dance song. Yes. That in between does not work on the main stage. Yeah, but you know what? I think that's the whole purpose of it because like with Megami, you saw how she made each song very specific. Like the whole sexual innuendo and everything. It was so specific to the song that takes a little bit of thought and that's what's going to put you ahead in, in, in something like this. No. <laughs> If it's not your way, you're not having it, Candy. But I do got to give it to Megami for doing that. She no, made it very eating. specific. You could have said that was her first lip sync and you would have believed it because now we saw uh, Morphine right now and there were very similar tricks, very similar. You know what I mean? Okay, yeah. If we're going to say that Mirage is going to do the same trick she did the first time. We saw just that. My knees did a split, which we saw her do at the very beginning again, you know, and it's like, what... The judges take it to the judges. <laughs> oh, please. What RuPaul? What was the, wait, wait, wait. Go back. What was that for us? Well, no. <laughs> you know, because uh, uh, someone, RuPaul picks who wins the lip sync. Yeah. Um, so it's what RuPaul wants. <laughs> okay, let's talk about Megami oh. real quick. Oh. Okay, re- regardless what happens in the next lip sync, she won this episode, period. Absolutely. She, she, this is such a good night for Megami. Like, yes. no joke. What do you think? Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, I think that, I, I mean, she just smacked everybody in the face in that workroom. She said, kiss my ass. You thought, try again. Come back next season. I mean... She went from losing one lip sync to now winning. I don't even know how many she just won, but like, girl, That's three, right? Three. She just won three back to back, and and it goes to what I said earlier, specific to the, the song. song. A, a backflip is a backflip in every f- song. It's exactly the same. Just like when she did, uh, <laughs> Megami made fun of her with the split. It was just like groundbreaking. Another split. It was so good and well thought of. And all. Three of her performances were very different from one another. So I think that helped her a lot. I mean, we're, listen, bitch, I mean, hey, we're, we're going to see what happens. Ooh. We have Morphine and Megami in okay, the final nervous. two. Um, to bring it back to the question I had right before, from oh, our yes, uh, VIP member, Carpe PT, they said, uh, for Nisha and Candy, do you think Latinas are being represented well on Drag Race and or TV, or do you think they're still being portrayed as their stereotypes? I think on the earlier seasons of Drag Race, it was very like, oh, she can't talk English. Ha, 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 what is she saying? Um, I think as we move forward in the current seasons, I think they, they've done a very, not the absolute best, but they've done a very well job at representing uh, the Latinas. And I do think that they need more Puerto Rican queens from the island of Puerto Rico on the show. I think the last Puerto Rican queen from the island was, um, well, they had Alyssa Hunter, but prior to that was like, what? Candy Ho. It had been a while, yeah. You know? Um, I think that they need more girls that... English isn't their first language on the show. Because why not? Yeah, I, I think the representation has always been there, and the people that they choose on the show have always represented really well. They're always, they've always been super talented and deserving and nothing negative to say. However, if you're going to put someone on a show whose first language is Spanish, you better make sure that you accommodate them the way you accommodate everybody else. Because you chose, I mean, you, you decided to put them on this show English speaking, and you know that they only speak Spanish. So that's the only thing, that's the issue that I have with them. Because even, even with Jessica, and Jessica, she understands, but she'd be like, Hey girl, is it? Are we doing this, 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 yeah. this? And you're like, yes, that's exactly what you know what I did. But it, it's one of those things that when when someone tells you something in English, you're processing it in Spanish or whatever your first language is, and it's it's a challenge. No, it is, and I I noticed it firsthand on All Stars with Jessica because Jessica from her season has learned so much, um, uh, and you know, but there's still a little bit of language barrier, and I can see the thought process and the, the wheels turning. 
And uh, speaking of RuPaul, to bring it back to that, I think this is the first time in, I don't know, maybe the first time ever, we're not getting a final three video or they're not passing on the golden boot. What's going on with this? Uh, they might do a golden boot next week. I don't know. Okay. I, last week's episode with the book, that would have been cute at the beginning of the season. Agreed. I want to see a uh, uh, lip sync to her own song talking about Mama Ru, I want the crown in the music video. <laughs> that it's a, the whole season leading up to the end is uh, you want to see the girls in the music video and the leotards looking and stunty and giving it. The book was a cop out. Not doing the baby pictures was a cop out. No Tic Tac lunch was a cop out. I don't know who in the writers... Uh, thought to themselves. They were on oh, strike, baby. No, girl, they were not on strike. That was before the strike. <laughs> <laughs> Clock that <Zati. laughs> No, actually, I don't know if they were on strike or not. Uh, oh, they were on strike? Oh, well, guess what? This is a reality TV show. The strike ain't got nothing to do with Drag Race. Clock that What is your go-to bodega order? Ah! <laughs> um, I get a ham and cheese and a roll, a with small bag of chips, and an orange, orange drink. Orange drink. If, if you, you know, know, you know. know. <laughs> Ah, that was for Sean. No, honestly, at the bodega, not now because I've been watching what I eat as the last few months. But if you would have asked me this last summer, all right, and tsunami. Oh, actually, and this is tsunami's order too. And this gets this every weekend. She she gets a chopped cheese. If you're from New York, you know what it is. Oh, you from the hood? You get a chopped cheese on a roll or a hero. If you get a chopped cheese on a hero, you a fat bitch for that because so ma, that's that's like a. Chopped cheese is like what? It's, it's a, a ground beef, cheese, mayonnaise. Ke- ke- girl, all of it. Oh, it's so good. Hold on, y'all. So good. Um, and a chopped cheese. I have, like, again, if you would ask this last year, I would have gotten a Coke. I love me a Coke. Recently, I've been into Coke Zero. Girl, get into it. She's everything. Um, <laughs> a change. Oh, you have no idea. It's brand new. Girl, and a bag of chips. A small bag of chips. What, what kind of chips? Okay, I'm a huge popcorn eater. I love Skinny Pop. Even when I was a fat, even when I was like unhealthy living, I, Skinny Pop was my shit. Yeah. <laughs> Have you had the white cheddar Skinny Pop? No, it has to be the original. It Ooh, can't be no white so cheddar. Good. But there is this one popcorn, and I think it's called, it's, it has pink Himalayan salt, and it's also sweet. I don't know. It comes in, the, in this lavender bag. I don't know the name of it. I don't know. I've had it once, and I've never found it again. <sighs> All right. Thank you for your bodega order. We thank you so much. Are you exhausted? You feel like you ate from that? Ooh, girl, yeah. Are you full? I'm full. <laughs> Um, we have one more question. Before we get to some questions from our audience, if y'all have any of those, think of those now. Batty and I will be around in just a moment. But from Ray in Seattle, thanks for watching and being a VIP member. They want to know, Candy, as someone who um, finds themselves in VIP alone often, um, what are, this is what they said, this is what they said. In your opinion, what are three essentials for every VIP area? Oh, not popcorn. Okay, here's the real team. And my friends know this about me. Any club I go to in the world, everyone wants to offer a VIP in a bottle. I don't like VIP sections. I hate feeling like I have to be stuck at a table all night. If you see me at a club, you know I'm a hoe. <laughs> Nasha, you know I'm a hoe. I'm running around, go the bathroom stalls, the, the, the girl, the back kitchen. I'm going everywhere, girl. I don't necessarily like a VIP table. But if you are going to give me a table, I need a bottle of tequila, because we can do shots. I need, um, well, no, that's it, actually. I don't, I don't, like, I don't really like simple chasers. Simple girl, simple girl. I don't like chasers. Actually, can I get a shot of tequila, no chaser? I'm a simple girl. Yeah, it, Gabi, make some noise for Gabito. He, uh, Gabo over here, he helps yeah, me. Uh, drinks all that good stuff. We're going to get her all liquored up right now. And also, if you know anything about me, if you've ever seen me at a VIP section, I invite everyone in there in the club. Girl, I don't even know. I'm like, girl, come in here. Girl, come, come, come get a shot. Girl, get a shot. And then the whole VIP section, well, it's not VIP no more. It's the whole it's club. It's the whole club. It's everybody. That's smart, everybody. <laughs> if you were to be on Snatch Game again, I mean, on Drag Race again, what would be your Snatch Game character? Um, Hi, Patrick. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Do we know Patrick? <laughs> oh, we know Patrick. We know Patrick. Oh. Um, oh, we know Patrick. Um, no. Um, Okay. Patrick, how do you know? Y'all this lady? do not crucify me. It's not sexual, but I am a firm believer. 
and this is just me. I think they should get rid of Snatch Game. Ooh. Ooh. Yep. 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 Okay. Wow. Yep. If they were going to eliminate Snatch Game, what would they do instead of that? Something else. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. okay, well, you have to have some okay. sort of like. Okay. If you can't say that. You gotta have some okay. sort of like. If they were going to get rid of Snatch He's Game. Uh, I'll get back to you next week with that answer. But, okay, here's the thing. I would never do Snatch Game again because I do not have a character to do. I am not a character impersonator. I do not. Girl, I was lucky the first two times. The third time, now nah, you're pushing it, Miss Alyssa. No, 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 no. I think if you eliminate Snatch Game, it has to be. Well, who are the two that you are prepared for A and for, for A and A? You want to see the A and All Stars A? Yeah, yeah. You just realized that. I love that. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you so much for coming tonight, Candy. <laughs> uh, no, so uh, the first time I had uh, Nina Flowers and Kathy Griffin, um, and then the second time Kathy I Griffin, that's the mother from um, Family Guy. That's no. Lois. That's Lois. Wait, yeah. wait, wait, guys. Wait, wait. Oh, that's Roscoe's, Lewis. Roscoe's, Roscoe's. Yes, that's her. That's, her. that's the one. I, <laughs> that's the one. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, Peter. Rick, Rick, no, wait, really quick. <laughs> right. <laughs> really quick. If they eliminate Snatch Game, I say it has to be something with some kind of impersonation. This being impersonation is a huge part of drag. There, are, there were Vegas shows that would impersonate celebrities and of that sort, and I think that that definitely is a challenge that some people do excel and that it is a challenge for others. So I, I don't think it should be gone completely. I think it should be still some type of impersonating would be Well, really if I were to ever go back and they ask Snatch Game, I would like to be excused from that week and then come back the week after. So. <laughs> Um, how do you feel about there being a final three again? Do you think it should stay a final three? Or do you think that it should... How do you, how do you feel about how many goes into finale? I kind of live... Okay, well, 50-50. Well, no, more like 75 and whatever the other half is. Here's the thing. I felt bad for Q. Imagine being ripped away at the very last... Like, that hurts. But... It keeps the viewers on their toes because automatically we're like, oh, they're all gonna, it's the final competitive episode. They're all going to the finale. Ha ha. She's going home, actually. She's not going to the, so I live. I think so too. I, I, I think it's definitely a face crack and I feel bad for Q because I, well, I, I would feel bad for anyone in that situation because you're like, top four. And they're like, ha ha, not really. Right. Someone else is going and home. The gag is, that sucks. I don't think so. Usually the way the, 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 Final competitive episode works. You film a bunch of endings or whatever. I don't think they film. I think they say, Q, you're out. Yeah. Oof. Oh, totally. Oof. No, no. Uh, yeah. No. I know both of you have been eliminated on your seasons. However. Uh, she, uh, um, however. Um, I, I have never been eliminated. Oh, well. Actually. If you count that one episode. You should have been first. In my oh, IMO. I thought she was IMO. Say, IMO. I love to know how iconic has it been to be hosting not only Roscoe's but like touring. How has that experience been? I love to know how has it been life changing. We all not love to know. Well, thank you. So what? Uh, did, <laughs> so whatever, whatever weed you're smoking, pass it over here. Baby, no. her <laughs> mushrooms <laughs> just kidding, kicked kidding. in. No, listen. Uh, so basically, you want to know. Girl, she wants to know if your life went to shit after you got eliminated or no. Got it. Got it. Well, I'm sitting here next to Candy, so what do you think? No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Uh, listen, I, I, I just did uh, a podcast a couple days ago with... Uh, and um, I, 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 I well, hope we, they didn't get that. But anyway... Um, we can hear you on and, the microphone. No they, no, they won't hear that. YouTube won't hear that. She but, said very Delta. You... <laughs> now you know well not to say anything around this loud anyway, mouth. And what what are the thi we we kind of touched on this a little bit and I, and I have the same answer. Uh, one day I went up to Roscoe's and said, "Hey, I'm moving to California." And they said, "How are we going to make this work?" Instead of saying, 
Okay, well, thank you. It was great working with you. Uh, I have one of the best jobs in the world. This place has really shown me what it is to be family and have that dynamic in a workplace and be appreciated. Um, and um, I, I, I can't say that I got some bad from it. I got some good stuff from getting eliminated three times on Drag Race. So you can call me Elimination Lopez Not all three you I want, I got a paycheck. <laughs> Here's the tea. Week. Let me tell you, Nisha, that Roscoe's is nice. Because I would have been Roscoe's, I would have been like, you going to California? Mwah, no job. <laughs> no, that's good for you. I love it. Um, <laughs> such a so stupid. That's all she had to say. <laughs> she is so hateful. She that is I the love most it. hateful uh, queen ever. No, listen. I don't think people realize, yo, when I tell you, uh, being on that TV show... Like, some people may have their opinions about it, but when I tell you that TV show has literally changed my life for the better, I am a little hood boy from the Bronx. I, I'm not, the world is not built for me to be a TV star. You know, the world is not built for me to win. And somehow Drag Race has allowed people like me and people like the people that go on that show with their stories and their backgrounds and, you know, all shapes, colors, and sizes to succeed in life. And I literally have performed in some of the craziest venues, the O2 Arena in London for 8,000 people, you know, the Radio City Music Hall. I've to, I've been to places I would have never imagined, you know? Um, and I come from a very, a very poor family, you know? And the point of us going on Drag Race and going on TV to show the world our art is to kind of make our, our families and friends proud back at home, you know? And every, every single, it never misses, every single gig I go to, I face my mother at the airport and let her know where I'm going because it is my duty to let someone that has supported me my entire life, obviously, she's my mother, you know, hey, I'm going to Chicago today. She's like, oh my God, you're going to kill Chicago. It's to make those little moments, you know, the, the fame, the money, the Instagram followers, girl, that can all be taken away tomorrow. I don't care. The shit that I've accomplished in the last four years, never. I'm someone who didn't go to college. I'm someone who barely graduated high school. I was barely in high school, to, you know, and now I, I get to live a comfortable life and, and really have a successful and flourishing career, you know? And being on Drag Race has... It played a part in some of the most, uh, in establishing some of the most significant relationships that we actually have. We have some actual real, there, listen, there's sister and then there's sisters. We, you know, there's the plain Jane sister, the way she says sister, and then there's a real sister. And there's some real sisters. Which one am I? <laughs> You're on a plane, honey. Bitch, anytime we're in the same state, city, we see each other. Every single time. There's times I see each other more than I'd like to, but... Um. Uh, There's still questions for all the queens. Do you feel more comfortable in drag? And what do you do to try to make sure that you feel just as good about yourself uh, sitting in front of the TV without any makeup? I love that, JD. And I love that you wrote it down on your phone. Very professional. Uh, I, mean, I tried, I tried. <laughs> do I feel... Okay, here's the thing. I'm someone that likes to play in both femininity and masculinity. If anyone sees me when I grow my beard out, I am a full man. And I love playing the role of a man, right? But when I am in playing it, because you know, <laughs> but when I am in drag, I'm feeling my most feminine puss and I want a straight man to come and pick me up and take me home, right? I feel confident both in and out of drag. I know that's not for everyone on the spectrum of drag and I've been very lucky. It also comes to a lot of years of having self-hatred and the one that you have to look in the mirror and say, well, bitch, I need to learn how to love myself in and out of drag. Because one thing that I pride myself on is taking care of myself outside of drag. I think sometimes as queens, we forget to do so. Girl, go, go for a facial, you know, once in a while. Go get your nails done. Go get a haircut. Go stop shaving your eyebrows, you know? So shit like that. <laughs> Stop showing your eyebrows, Nisha. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I, I like both feminine and masculine in drag, out of drag. I feel kind. <laughs> in both. Let's go. What about you, Nisha? <laughs> Why did you chuckle at the end, though? <laughs> uh, no, uh, my, I, I don't know if you, if it was the same for you at the beginning when I started drag. It was a struggle. It was definitely a struggle. I, I struggled with 
uh, my everyday look, how I was gonna look every single day, how I felt. The shaving. Uh, every the, the, the shaving, everything. It, I had long hair and I was in this place where I just didn't know how I wanted to present. It's one thing when you come out on stage and the whole place is falling out for you. Yes, work. And then you kind of become addicted to that and fall in love with that. And then you want to serve that almost every day. And then you get caught up and decide you want to be a product of your environment because everyone lives for you when you're in drag, but not when you're in drag. So it, it messes with your head. So it was, it, it took a while for me to become comfortable in my own skin. Um, and when I did, I think that I was able to flourish even more so in both because I was happy. So, or I am happy, I should say. But yeah. It takes work. I mean, listen. It does. In, it's hard. in high school, I, I remember it was sophomore year. I started to transition. Um, and it, I, as that process went, I soon realized, well, no, I don't, I'm not a woman. I don't want to live my life as a woman. And then after, it was after high school where I learned what drag was. And I learned, oh, okay, I can be an entity. A house of business, they would ask me, do we call you she? Do we call you he? I'm like, girl, I exist. I'm an entity. I'm just here. And that's that on that, yeah. you know? Kara, how do you? Um, I define, feel like I really because you wear a beard, so thank you. Um, I feel like I really use drag to. I, I don't be... know why I feel like that was a read, bitch. It was. I'm sorry. It was a read. I love you, she, sister. I took it as a compliment. You took, <laughs> good for you, bitch. Work. Um, I feel like I use Shake. drag to um, actually be more confident in myself because um, just as regular old Alan, I just I didn't know how to comfortably do that and feel confident in doing so. Not too much. Um, but yeah, much. once I found my sexy cuntiness in drag, I knew what I could give as Alan to feel 100% myself. Yeah, yeah. Also, don't think that because you heard that name, all of a sudden you'd be like, hey, Alan. Yeah, don't do that. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like Stephanie. You don't call Gaga Stephanie. <laughs> so don't, I do when don't, I play Fortnite. Good looking out. Thank you. In my Fortnite skin. My but Trisha, how about you? Well, I'm a trans woman, so I just live my life like this all day. The only difference is I just don't wear makeup during the day, really. But, you know, I've just kind of become comfortable with myself. I smoke a lot of weed, and it just keeps me, like, sane and, you know, together. And then I'm able to present myself however I feel in front of all of you, because I don't give a fuck what you think about me. I'm I still going to be here. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, thank you. Here we yeah. go. Oh my God. You were gonna call me. I was gonna call you your she government. Was call me my government name. That's. Listen. I don't even know your name. What's your name? I, I'm not. Nisha Lopez. That. That's her <laughs> name. Thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, we have one more question. Well, was, one more. I get really we excited. Come one here. More one more, because my tuck is on. Fire. This is uh, everyone. This is Cora Nation, and Cora is our X Y Z brunch hostess, which yeah. will not yeah. be here tomorrow. Yes. I will be hosting brunch tomorrow, so come see us. But ask your question, baby. Hi, uh, this is for Nasha and for Candy. As two entertainers, well, I, you're, you got my job tomorrow, you're fine. Uh, as two entertainers who find themselves being aggressive, aggressive, and not passive aggressive on social media, do you still find yourself picking every little fight that people drop at your doorstep? Or are you at a place where you're really trying to appreciate the peace in your life? That is so funny because um, during 13, I would make sure, if you were coming for me, I was going to pick every single fight that was thrown my way. On All Stars, it was half half. I was like, well, some fights I'll pick, some fights I won't. As now seeing my daughter on TV, one thing I told Tsunami, and actually what I told a lot of the girls on 16 um, was people are going to have opinions about you, whether you do great or not. It is your decision on how you receive that, right? Now you can sit there and fight back with someone on Twitter, but why? I have not fought with anyone in such a long time, I don't care. The bookings are booking. The bank account is bank accounting. The TV shows are TV showing. And my career is Kareem. I don't have, I physically don't have the time to sit there and argue with someone back and forth. It is difficult though, when obviously you see someone saying something about you on Twitter, you wanna fight back like, no, that's not true and, and go back and forth. But for what? Me giving you, how I feel, it's not going to change anything. It's not going to change your opinion. You want a notice, and let me tell you, you're not going to get it. In fact, you're not even going to get blocked. I'm going to ignore it and keep scrolling. I don't care. If you can take the time out of your day to go on my Instagram and comment something hateful, mama, go pick up a shift. 
Okay, amen, and the church said amen. Absolutely. I, I'm just going to piggyback off that and just ditto. Uh, no, yeah, it's just, if, if uh, there's really no point in going into any of the negativity. I, I only think that if, if my response is either going to change or educate um, or take some kind of accountability, then I will respond. If not, there's really no need for it. So and that's and that doesn't just go for what we do. It goes for anyone in general. And I tell this to Period. my best friends all the time. Even when you have little drama with friends, sometimes it's best not to engage. Just, some things are not serious. Just let go and let God. I'm telling you, you going back and forth with your friend ain't going to change. Girl, cool off, come back, talk about it, move on, move forward. And on that note, can we please make some noise for our special guest, Candy Muse? Oh. oh. Picture time. Boots. <laughs> Gorge. Oh, right. my gosh, Chicago, I love you. And Chicago loves you. We would also like to remind everyone that at 10.30, we will all be taking the stage together with our Friday Night Lights cast. Oh, yeah. In addition, yeah. Um, tickets are sold out, but standing room is available for next week's show featuring Lawrence Cheney and Lady Camden for the finale. Whoa. Yes. 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 It's be a good time, good time, good time. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, please, and everyone in between, please make some noise for Ms. Caramel Deville. <laughs> Thank you, Nisha. Thank you, Candy, so much. Y'all, please keep it going and give it up for Batty Davis. Thank you so much, okay? And please make some noise for the beauty or whatever. Nisha Lopez! Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Batty. You're welcome, okay? Thank you. Uh, <laughs> See you all at 10.30. Right now, we're going to flip this room. So if everyone can go ahead and make their way to the other side of the room, that would be absolutely amazing. YouTube, thank you so much for watching. We love you. Keep watching. Keep the comments coming. Ciao.